What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode, it's your boy Dre and today we are in Dalhart, Texas, uh, we're back to one of our garages, well, next to our garages, uh, I'm doing a job for a good friend of mine and uh, we're gonna pick some cattle for him and we're gonna hold them to La Junta, Colorado, so it's only about 300 miles uh, trip, it's not a long one. As you can see, we have a slightly different truck. It's a Kenny W900, but after one of my um, fellow truckers asked me on one of my previous episodes if I'm driving an Outlaw um, W900, which I wasn't at that time, I said, "Why not? Let's uh, let's give it a go." And uh, you have in front of you an Outlaw 3, uh, sorry, an Outlaw W900 Kenny. I was about to say 359, which we, we have as well, the Outlaw uh, Pete 359. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the truck, it looks really cool and uh, it comes with a lot of um, options. You can pretty much customize everything on it, but uh, the way it looks at the minute, I'm really happy with it. Um, before we hit the road guys, um, just a quick reminder, if you didn't already, please hit that subscribe button, it helps a lot and uh, it keeps me going and obviously it's uh, totally free so um, yeah, we have to hit the road now and we heading La Junta, Colorado alright, so this is how it looks inside it's uh, pretty detailed as I said I'm, uh, I'm really happy with it I like the dash and you know the steering wheel and uh, everything everything fits into place um, you have some shades on um, I don't know how they call like shade guards or whatever on the side um, windows and um, yeah pretty much uh, that's it we have an Eaton Fueler uh, transmission 18 speed automatic let's uh, have a cold start and hear it out. The American people are counting on you to drive. Let's go. Not bad at all. All right, peeps. So, um, as I said, we should hit the road now. Ooh, it's um, them cattle's all uh, are pretty heavy. I can uh, I can feel it. <laughs> no problem with driving a W900, so I'm not even worried. I'm pretty sure this um, beautiful truck can uh, can pull the White House. Yeah, we know. Uh, it's not the first uh, time when we come in here. We've been here a few times uh, before. Tell you what, guys, this um, crossroad in here, it's, uh, it's pretty dodgy. You need a lot of space to, to turn if you come in the other way. So if you come in this way where this guy driving the Ford, I think, or Chevy, uh, and you need to turn right, uh, you need a lot of space to do that. And it's uh, with the traffic that you can see uh, it's around this area, it's pretty much impossible. So be very careful on, uh, on that uh, crossroad in there. I tell you what, guys, it's uh, this is my first rodeo with this uh, Outlaw W900, and I love it. You already know I'm a big fan of W900. We we have our stock one, well, not stock one, but the one uh, from SCS from the base game. So uh, this is just an, uh, you know, an amazing custom uh, truck. And uh, I love it. It looks so cool. And 
uh, it drives so nice guys you should give it a try it's totally free by the way outlaw uh, don't charge any any money yet uh, he should to be honest if you ask me but anyways uh, he has this uh, Kenny uh, obviously he has the pit the 359 outlaw pit which you, you've seen here before as well and a Western Star them three and obviously he has a lot of trailers uh, just give it a go I'll, uh, I'll just post the, the link down below Continue straight. no problem Morgan we will wow traffic it's insane in here guys for this guy come on dude let me go come on I don't get it why they stop and you stop and they stop and then when you start moving they start moving just make up your mind like we have a bit of traffic in front of us uh, looking at the interstate well I don't think we on the interstate yet but uh there is a bit of traffic in here Turn left. Texas you wild I let him go because I don't want to get caught in here in case the train is coming or something and we almost got caught by the train it's a, it's a tricky stop in there if you have another um, truck in front of you and you don't give in you know the space between you don't leave the space between uh, you two and the train is coming you kind of get caught in there by the train on the you know rail trucks and, uh, yeah it's pretty tricky Gotta be careful. in here guys and uh, country lanes uh, we should um, one day I should take my Dodge Ram and uh, come here just to explore and by the way I got a new skin for the Dodge Ram and I'm in love with it it's um, Jason Dutton farm uh, skin it's uh, the Yellowstone farm which obviously it suits the truck I love it I, I completely I'm, I'm in love with it and, um, yeah, we gotta take it for a spin. Continue straight. Maybe I don't know, haul some hay or uh, some cattle. I don't know. We we have a few hot shot trailers, as you know, so uh, we can do a lot. Of 
lot of things with it. And I, I miss driving it, to be honest. So I'll, uh, I'll take it for a spin, for sure. I'm really curious if uh, John is gonna do any other uh, mods. Like, I don't know, for uh, the 450 maybe, or uh, I don't know, Silverados, you know, any other pickup trucks. He should, to be honest, because he's um, one of the best at it, and uh, people want a lot of, you know, you want choices in it. And I'm pretty sure he would make a lot of money if he would start doing different uh, pickup trucks and sorry Mark just need to pull in front of you for a second thank you I just had a guy on uh, the second lane and I had to pull in front of him obviously just to keep the distance between uh, me and that uh, bus that broken down bus This is the train that almost uh, got my trailer in there and my uh, ladies in the back. Man, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be really careful out there. And it looks like literally everybody's uh, faster than me. They all just uh, pass me and then just pull in front of me for some reason. I don't mind. Uh, we have them ladies in the back that we gotta take care of, so uh, gotta make sure they get to the destination safe. And I don't wanna stress them out, so I'll just take my time. We are in no rush anyway, so... I'm constantly looking, by the way, for a good spot to take some shots. There's a lot of nice places in here to take pictures, and I'm looking for the perfect spot, to be honest. Uh, I've seen some nice shots, you know, from other players, and boy, oh boy. I'm, I'm so jealous, I mean, I don't know how they managed to uh, get them perfect pictures, you know, and uh, the angles, and the light, and, and the filters, and everything, it's perfect, you know, and it fits, and um, I want to do that as well. I guess we getting there, so... trying to get to a straight line uh, to turn the camera around and show you the front of the truck but we can't really do it now I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a straight line after this uh, curb in here yeah I think this will be enough let's go back Here we go. It looks uh, it looks cool. I love the headlights and the colors combo. You know the combination, uh, the big antennas. Here we go. Let me just go here before I get back inside before we cause an accident or something. Um, the big antennas on uh, the mirrors, air filters, everything. It's uh, Cool on this uh, truck, so I'm uh, ex 
excited to drive it. No problem, Morgan. We will. Come on, dude. Really? to God, some of them people, they just, uh, they just don't care. Pouring out like that in front of you. Jesus Christ. which is cool I'm, I'm pretty happy because uh, I get to see the scenery you know to enjoy the view let's go outside this is cool in it the light and um, the whole view it's beautiful and I think this truck with the um, livestock belly trailer fits perfect in here Fifty-seven miles to La Junta. We're not too far.
wanted to stay in lane, uh, driving like this. Here we go. Ooh, I like the, the lights. I like the way uh, the dash is getting lit. Cool. And we shouldn't be too far anyway, so... Uh, we made it. customize it you get um, the red lights or blue ones but I thought to be honest I never thought they actually light up you know like like this I thought it just like uh, for design you know uh, but yeah cool This is it. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Yeah, I think this is it, guys. We we made it. Let's uh, let's see where the one is parked, and uh, I'll be back with you. was pretty easy. It was just in front of us, so uh, whatever. Uh, so we need to wait in here for a bit, guys, because they have somebody else in front of me to get unloaded at a minute. So I'm gonna stop in here, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna keep you with me. Uh, th this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's much appreciated, guys, as you know, and uh, I really appreciate your support. Uh, just Stay safe out there, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.